एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम सो वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट द टेक्निक ऑन हाउ हाउ टू मेक द आइसोमेट्रिक स्केल फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia. If you want to study the concept in detail, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. This is the continued uh, uh, lecture, which is the second part of the lecture, and uh, the concept that we have learned so far, which which was isometric projections or the isometric drawing case. in this part of the video we'll be learning about uh, the construction of the isometric scales but before coming to that let me tell you that we are doing module number 5 of the course and in that we have already covered isometric projections and isometric view concept continuing the similar concept we are on the isometric scale part so isometric scales i have uh, already described or i have already given you an introduction in the first part of the video in which uh, we have understood that uh, whenever a person watches or observes a 3d object uh, then the line of sight is um, having an angle with the surface so because of that the length reduces at a certain aspect and whenever we want to draw its projection so for that purpose we have to indicate the reduced length in the drawing so how do we find out that reduced length we have a set procedure for that and in this video we'll be learning that concept so initially what we can do we can have the length of the line as we can have the length of the line as um this ab we can draw ab of any length and from there we can draw two uh, lines which are inclined firstly at an angle of 45 degree and second at an angle of 30 degree so the line which is having an inclination of 45 degree that line is the true length or the true line and we want to convert this true length into the isometric part or the isometric length uh, so this dark line indicates the isometric length but here we don't have the value of these two lengths so initially what i want i want to find out the value or i want to find out the length of this isometric um, scale length so for that we have to consider some true length so let's say the length that i want to convert into the isometric part is let's say 50 mm so i need uh, to have an inclination which is 45 degree and on that 45 degree length i need to have or i need to cut this length as 50 mm and i need to label that part as d so this part is is Uh, no doubt labeled as d and what i want there i want uh, this isometric length from this true length so i need to convert this true length into the isometric length so what is the procedure for it the procedure that i have is to divide this true length into number of segments let's say this is 50 or let's say this is 40 so i need to divide it into number of segments i need to start with the point number 0 or it is up to you you can start with point number 1 2 3 4 5 so i am starting with 0 so this a to 0 is having an equal length then 0 to 1 is having an equal length then 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 all are having these equal lengths now what happens in this situation i need to uh, project these points on the isometric dimension or on the isometric scale that i will be generating so for that situation what you will do you will draw perpendiculars from 
these surfaces, uh, these points. Like from point number one, you will draw a perpendicular so that this perpendicular flashes on this isometric length. Similarly, you can have this number two part uh, and you need to draw a perpendicular on this isometric surface. And similar for the next situation, you need to draw the perpendicular on uh, the isometric uh, part and from 4 also you need to draw this isometric, uh, this projection on the isometric dimension. Now once this is done, you have to label this part as C. So this part is labeled as C, that means you will get the length of the line which is the reduced length. Let us say this length was 50, so this length would come out to be less than 50. So this reduction is possible because of this isometric scale construction. So in this you can also label this uh, length as 1 because it was connected to 1. So 1 is connected to 1, you can label it again as 1. Then 2 connected to 2, you can again label it as 2 because this is the 2 uh, point for the isometric length situation. Then 3 in connection with 3 is there. So that 3 is indicated on the isometric length and similarly 4 is indicated on this isometric uh, scale 4. Now how to represent or what do we get from this particular situation? We will get the isometric scale and the line AC represents that isometric scale. So earlier this length was 50 and we had the division so that the measurements are, is possible because of the true length that we have. But we want to convert that true length into the isometric length. So for that we have divided it into sections and drawn perpendicular over the surfaces so that the scale can be formed. So this line indicates the scale AC and this is specifically required for isometric projections. So let me just repeat the process. In this process what do you have? You have to uh, make two lines. One line would be at an angle of 45 degree and another line would be at an angle of 30 degree. You have the actual length of the object or on the scale you have the length which is let's say 50 and you have to divide that length into equal number of parts. So this is divided into equal number of parts. Uh, we name or we start with 0 but it is up to you. You can start with 1 or you can go up to 5 or you can start with 0 and you will go up to 5. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and 4. From these all the points you have to draw perpendiculars so that they matches on the isometric length and the points that you will get there can be labeled in the similar fashion that you have labeled in the true length situation. So this AC represents the length that we wishes or we aim to obtain. So this length is the isometric length and these divisions indicates the scales. So with this procedure we can easily construct the isometric scale for uh, constructing any sort of isometric projection situation. So we come to the end of the second part of the video and in this part of the video we have learned the construction of isometric scales and they are specifically required to construct the isometric projections. In the previous part of the video we have uh, seen certain definitions which are related to isometric projections and isometric views. If you want to study the concept in detail you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.